we got a, a matchup here between the T wolves and the Grizzlies in Memphis T wolves coming in as a six point road favorite. Uh, Grizzlies uh, plus 180 on the money line total sitting at 214. Uh, looks like we might have a little debate uh, between my fellow hosts here. Junior, I'll let you tip it off here. T Wolves versus Grizzlies. What are you doing? Why do you like them? Uh, what's going on? So we go from collab to uh, face off. Uh, I think it's the first cool. time me and my boy, me and my boy Shark going head to head on the season, which is weird. Um, but yeah. Uh, I like Minnesota in this spot. Well, first of all, let me just start by saying this is more of a fade of the Grizzlies uh, than it is uh, laying the points with Minnesota because I do not like this number. It's it's a pretty big number. It's just underneath that key number of seven, which is actually it just happens to be exactly what Minnesota's margin of victory is on the season. So uh, I think they take care of business here. What I liked especially from them is I criticize their offense a lot, which, by the way, is still in the bottom half of the league, just barely. Uh, they are, what, 18th? But uh, when Anthony Edwards came back in the last game, he didn't look good. He, he was struggling. Uh, he only went four for 17. But in the fourth quarter, he took care of business. He got to the line. Uh, they only made four free throws, all four of them by Ant. Uh, so the hip is fine, right? If you're going to the basket strong to end games and to, and to put games away, uh, you're absolutely fine. So I like the fact that he's back. He got that one um what, what's that what we like to call where you come in and he took 17 shots so he kind of took his team out of rhythm a little bit shot poorly but they still won luckily because they play great defense the number one defensive team in the league albeit against a very poor uh, san antonio team but the grizzlies aren't that much better anyway so um yeah i just kind of like the spot uh i've got a money line parlay going on just not an official play on the show so i've got minnesota in a couple of different spots so uh sharky uh, I want to lay out your case. Yes. Why is uh, why is Junior going to be the chum here in this situation? Shark, what's happening? Why why do you like Memphis here as the home dog? Well, I like them for numerous reasons. We've been talking about this since they obviously started just horrifically without John Morant. They're going to be a buy team, and I started to go through the statistics of it yesterday. They have turned the corner. They started the season. One and eight ATS. They are actually seven and four ATS since, which is above average in the sport. Right now, they're still highly, highly below their mean at home, specifically. They're two and seven ATS at home, but I do think they're turning a corner. A couple recent revenge games where they were particularly lackluster early and then got a team in this most recent window where they're better. They took a margin loss to Dallas on October 30th, and then it came back on, a, on December 1st on a short line at Dallas and beat Dallas outright, 108-94. They took a margin home loss against Phoenix. Then they went on the road December 2nd at Phoenix, again on a short line for Phoenix. Did cover the spread, 116-109. to 109. You zoom into tonight's matchup, look no further than this continuing a trend here. They took a margin loss at home to Minnesota on November 26th, 119 to 97. Key point there, though, Minnesota was favored minus seven and a half. And now the same gym, December 8th, they're opening at minus six and a half shorter. This is the exact same numerical environment we're seeing in the Boston versus Knicks game. Same gym off a blowout line moved down one point. And you look at where Minnesota is. I honestly think Minnesota is pretty much the polar opposite statistical team than Memphis. Minnesota, if we're being honest, is far too hot. They're 16 and four straight up. They were 10 and three ATS between November 1st and November 26th. And I think they're trending towards an outright loss. Go through their last four games. They barely beat Oklahoma City at home, 106-103. They barely covered against Utah, 101-90. They barely covered on the road at Charlotte, 123-117. And then they opened up with another lackluster game against the Spurs off this break, 102-94. 4-0 straight up last four, 1-2-1 one, and one ATS. That really is speaking to just a capped statistical environment. Minnesota is 8-3 and three ATS at home. You want to buy them at home. On the road, they're 4-4-1 four, four and one ATS. And two of those covers are hook covers. It's just not the statistical spot for Minnesota tonight. Number is short, like the Grizzlies at plus six here. 
Yes. So we got a guaranteed uh, winner here on the bet us NBA pick show. Will it be shark? Will it be junior? Hopefully it's not right at six. Cause pushes just aren't that fun. Let's be honest. So lock up Memphis plus six for shark and junior on the T wolves lay in the six on the road. 